Rwandan troops have joined Mozambican forces to launch a major offensive against Islamic rebels in northern Mozambique as more troops arrive from South Africa and other neighboring countries to battle the insurgency. Less than two weeks after landing in Mozambique, the 1,000 soldiers from Rwanda fought alongside Mozambican troops to regain control of Awase, a strategic town in northern Cabo Delgado province. South Africa is also sending 1,495 troops to Mozambique to help its neighbor, and they will be a part of a growing multinational force there. Attacks have escalated in northern Mozambique over the past years, fueling cheers, fueling, fueling, fueling rather fears the violence could spill over into neighboring countries since 2017. The Cabo Delgado region has been battered by a bloody jihadist insurgency that has killed more than 3,100 people. According to conflict data tracker, ACLED acclaimed and displaced more than 800,000 people. We are now joined by our East 24 reporter, Mark, who is from Cape Town. Good evening, Mark. Let's get straight into this, Mark. Let's get straight into it. The announcement last week by President Sri Ramaphosa of South Africa is a welcome sign that the insurgency in Mozambique is now being taken seriously. What led to this announcement? The Southern African Development Community has been considering how to go about sending troops and support to Mozambique. They met in April. President Ramaphosa was part of those meetings along with some of his cabinet ministers. And it's taken some time, but they have decided that a joint force should be sent through to assist the Mozambican forces. The official number of soldiers has not been uh, made public, but recommendations at the time were that a force of around 3,000 soldiers should be sent to assist the Mozambican Defence Force. What has happened so far is that South Africa has now committed 1,495 troops. It is for a three-month deployment, which is going to cost roughly $66 million. And uh, there is already some criticism locally. The official opposition party in South Africa saying that three months is probably not enough time to make a significant difference, but it's a good start. And uh, Pre President Ramaphosa has been walking this road, as I say, since April already, considering what can be done to assist in Mozambique. Now, Mark, this is a long-running conflict in northern Mozambique. Just how much damage has been caused by the fighting, both humanitarian and economically? On the economic side, after the March attack on Palma, the big story was that Total had ceased operations, declaring force majeure, which means that an unexpected or uncontrollable event has uh, ceased their ability to meet their contractual commitments. There's no clarity yet when that production process would resume, but this is a $20 billion uh, project, and the expectation is that by 2024, gas would be flowing out of this region and this would uplift the local community in very many ways, uh, not just training of locals and, and job uh, provision, but also the need for local supplies and support um, and a commitment from Total to invest into that region and into the community and to help develop the entire region further, um, as well as being economically uh, or uh, ecologically uh, aware and conscious in the process. But on the humanitarian side, it's an ongoing struggle. Um, it's just got worse since 2017 when these attacks began. More than 800,000 people now displaced in the region. And some reports say 2,000, others saying 2,500 confirmed deaths already in that region as a direct result of this insurgency. So the humanitarian need um, and crisis is ongoing. And uh, yeah, sadly, we, we might hear about the headlines when some big economic issue happens, like a large company like Total shutting down. But on a day-to-day -day basis, there is a cessation at the moment of uh, mineral uh, economy. You know, people are not mining in the area. Agriculture has been hit. Uh, infrastructure development has ground to a halt. And these are all things that will have long-term ramifications for the people in that region. Are there signs that the conflict is coming to an end any time soon? And do you think more African countries are sending troops to help? This is going to take years to resolve, but the Mozambican government is far more optimistic. They have a, a, an agreement with the Rwandan government and a thousand troops have been sent to Mozambique already. And in the past week, these troops have made significant inroads, taking back some uh, strongholds in the region, at least three cities that they say they've uh, wrestled from the hands of the insurgents. Uh, at least 14 terrorists killed in that time. And so the president of Mozambique is now saying, well, 
you know, the insurgents are now actually on the retreat, but analysts are not as optimistic as that. They believe that this will be a long-term process. It's perhaps why the South African uh, official opposition party is saying that three months is not long enough for those 1,495 troops from South Africa. There are troops expected from Botswana and Angola as well. The numbers are not confirmed. And uh, the Zimbabwean president has also placed his army uh, troops on standby. Again, we're not sure of the numbers at this stage, but there is an expectation that troops will be coming from other African countries to boost their efforts to quell this insurgency. There is also training support from the EU. So um, there are countries coming to the fore, putting up their hands and offering to assist Mozambique in repelling this insurgency in the Cabo Delgado region. Mm -hmm. And now, before I let you go, Mark, is there anything else that you'd like to add? There is some optimism about the fact that the Mozambican government is now welcoming assistance from other countries. Uh, there's a belief that it is possible over time that the economic and political issues in these outlying regions of Mozambique can, can be addressed and resolved. Uh, and there may, may be an opportunity to actually strengthen and develop these communities. Um, and the fact that the Mozambican government is now looking to, to actually take on the assistance that is being offered may open doors for some political um, and humanitarian solutions down the road as well. So there is an element of positivity at the moment. There seems to be progress uh, on a political level, but the actual uh, quelling of this insurgency is not believed to be a short-term solution. It's not going to uh, be settled very soon. There is a belief that it's going to take a lot of time still and a lot of effort before, um, before the threat is actually quelled um, and you can see economic growth and development in those regions of Mozambique. Well, thank you so much, Mark, for your time. That was our A24 reporter, Mark, from Cape Town.